All right, so you loaded Facebook only to find this scrolly thing, and, and Facebook has changed everything all over again. Uh, don't worry. And actually, what I want to show you is actually how to get back to maybe something that you're a little bit more used to um, or how to deal with it a little bit better. So let's start out with that. Um, that scrolly thing that we're talking about over here on the right-hand side, uh, as I unhover over it, it's kind of a newsfeed thing that happens, and it's Facebook's idea of taking... Uh, relevant information from what it thinks are my friends, uh, and it gets it wrong. Uh, but I can hover over these things. I can unhover, and it'll start scrolling again, and it'll just keep going. And uh, let's see. Um, and I can actually go over to that post. I can leave a comment. I can like it right from here without actually going over to it. So it is kind of the news feed uh, on scroll. But don't worry about it. What you can do is you can make it bigger, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but you can make it bigger or smaller. These are the people who are online. Um, I don't like all of that. So what I could do is I could resize my screen smaller, and Facebook will get rid of it. Or simply what I like is let's just hide that thing. Boom. It's gone. So no big deal, right? Well, yeah, it, it, sort of. But um, you also notice that you know my profile and oh well there is a home screen. Well all those buttons are still up there. So here's your settings. You've got a home screen which is your news feed. And then if you want to get back to your profile, well this is your profile and your profile is uh, just that picture of you. It takes you right back to the profile. But on your news feed, what they're doing is they've kind of combined the top stories and things like that. And you can see you can kind of you know, vote these things and say, you know what, I don't think, I Facebook thinks this is uh, a top story, but I don't think it is. So I can make things top stories. I can do this. This is Facebook's automation. Not a big fan. I'm going to show you how to break that. And it starts out with a list. So if you have a list, um, what you want to do is actually find your list. And so I've actually started a list. And I'm not talking about the list that Facebook says, uh, here's your close friends, here's your family, these kind of lists, Walnut Creek area. No, I want a real list that I created. And you could see the list that I've created. There they are. And so you can see I've got my motorcycle buddies and I've got great real estate people and things like that. Well, if I click on any one of those lists, and if I needed to, if you haven't done this yet, go create a list. And so the people who are the most important to you that's the list that you want to create. Uh, Facebook doesn't know that because you may not contact them on a regular basis. These might be your past clients, uh, your present clients, your future clients. Put them all on a list. When you do, they'll show up here on the left-hand side. So what I do is this breaks that top news. This breaks the, the edge rank. This breaks everything. And this is as it happens. This is the first place that I'm going to check. Uh, here's my, my list for great real estate people. Here's my list for my close 100. I put 100 people on a list. This is my list for that. So when you do something like that, here's the easiest way to, to get back here because that's really what I want to do is now you see I've got facebook.com forward slash home.php blah, 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 and this big old long number. Well, if I change the list, it's got a different number. So what I've done is I said, you know what, I want to I want to get back here as fast as I can every morning. So I just bookmark this. Now that would be a control D or a command D, um, depending if you're a Mac or a PC. And then I just put it up here, I put I've got a bookmark bar, and I go, here's my button. And so this is the shortest, quickest way to get back to a list that you control, you create, and it's as it happens. This is so much better, I think, than Facebook's idea of, of trying to create a list for me and trying to create that flow. So, you know what? Hey, how much do you pay for Facebook? Uh, it is what it is. Let's deal with it. But uh, here's a way to deal with it better.